Yeah, I think uh, hugely important and increasingly important, particularly around the, uh, the bridging of the gap between the, the private sector, the NGOs, the government sector and then sport. So uh, we, each of them realise what they can do uh, and, and they're, what they do for the game and for people. Uh, it's not just the dishing out of money, it's the, um, the changing of lives and, and really effective results. So it's, it's hugely important to have something like this today. The commitment of, of Reds as an organisation to, to do this uh, from the top down and everyone on board as opposed to uh, other, other organisations that have it as a bit of an offshoot. Uh, so the, the commitment uh, and then the commitment around having done this thing for a long period of time, so for year on year, going back to communities, showing communities that it's real, showing people that it's real, I think that's why you're getting uh, greater and greater take up and that's why I think the data and the, and the, the results speak for themselves. What we're doing now through the REDS programs and what's been achieved is that you've built some expectation around engagement of young kids at an early age and you're starting, starting young, starting in primary school and building their capacity and building their hope and aspirations to progress to the next step and then linking that with a scholarship that is wholly and solely a red scholarship to better support those kids is the next obvious step and we'll build on it. Um, you'll, there'll be success that comes out of it and you continue to build on success that already exists. So it's, it's a logical sequence um, and the next step is then looking at university and other scholarships and other employment opportunities. So those things will grow and, and that's all come about because you started with something small, um, built on some strong foundations um, and you know where things want to go and, and communities are engaged. What I was involved in today, I was able to give my story about um, where I came from and what challenges I had to face while getting here. And just the fact that I was able to say that to an audience um, and have having feedback was an amazing experience. And just to have that, have a person coming up to you and saying, I am so glad you make that, made that first step because look where you are today and I'm hoping to continue those steps. <laughs> Next for Letitia Dunbar, I'll be hopefully graduating with a Media and Communications degree next year uh, and from thenwards I'm keeping my options open and with every opportunity that arises I will definitely take because with every opportunity another door opens. So.